So I went and painted on this mural and saw this interactive art museum. Not too far where I'm from, this guy's painting the biggest mural in Utah. And the guy's name is Chuck. He's actually super duper duper cool. He's a real rad guy. And he just so happened to have taught both Rami and I in school. He was our art professor, so neat. You know the type of person that you just kind of want to be like? Uh, well, that's Chuck. He's just like super rad and also just like being with him makes me want to be like a better person. But anyways, so when I texted him and asked if I could come film a little bit, I wasn't expecting him to let us come up on the wall and actually paint. So that was super rad. When he was doing it, he didn't want the face to look like Avatar, so we're going to paint in that little square there. And that's what he let me help out with. That looked pretty rad. Probably didn't really end up helping out much. Most of the time we just shot the shit. Shot the shit? Is that a thing? I don't know, we just chit-chatted. And he's having some guys film like the whole process from start to finish. And so when he gets that all done, I'll, I'll put a link in like my Instagram or Twitter so you guys can check out the final product. Because it's gonna end up real cool with that guy. Next, we went to hall breakfast. Oh, before then. Oh, I look like a gomer. Oh, you're a gomer. gomer. <laughs> look at that face. Before we went there, we actually saw some animal mumbles. My friend Grace has the hookups at the Hobo Zoo because she works there. So we got to spend the whole day there. But it was so hot out there that most of them were just sleepy boys and girls. Just sleepy boys and girls. But my favorite thing there was this polar bear and this cute paws and this cute bone and this cute lady taking a picture on an iPad and also this cute girl with the cups. I keep on making her get a drink every time we passed a drinking fountain, so. You're so it's good too at being drunk. in there. Probably my fault. She had hiccups. But we made it to the hall of breakfast, which I guess is like what they call it was like an interactive art museum. And I really, it was really cool. It was really bright. And each room had like different themes and different breakfast themes. Kind of just, to me, felt like a big place for people to take pictures for their Instagram, which is it's not a bad thing. Cause it was pretty fun. Plus they had games. And also like different foods in each room. They had like little gummy eggs and then bacon cookies. They didn't have any food in this room, which was cereal themed. Hmm. I feel like that would have been an easier thing to get food into, maybe. But they did have these nice little confetti things, which I enjoyed thoroughly. You can tell by this face. Wow. But the breakfast and pancakes room did have, like, breakfast and pancakes the waffle and pancakes room I had like these little waffles and pancakes and delicious and then donuts in the next room 
which actually didn't have donuts, but like a little uh, frozen yogurt thing, I guess, like a little ice cream. Coffee, they had cheese. I don't know why I'm going off about the food. But anyways, it was pretty rad. And Rami danced. That's Rami's little sister. Just a little fun info. I guess. But that was the last room with the balls. Okay. Well, hopefully one day I'll be able to do a mural of my own, guys. But for now, I'll take the time I have with Chuck. Because that was cool. And like I said, guys, when I get the link to the video of his project being finished, or I'll post that up on my Instagram and Twitter so you guys can check it out. Cool.